Hi everyone! <laughs> Hi, how are you today? I was having some difficulties, but um, we're live streaming right now. I hope you can hear me well. And uh, welcome to another video. Today we are going to do another crossword puzzle. And uh, this time we're going to talk about grocery shopping. We're going to learn or you're going to try to guess some words relating or related to, sorry, related to uh, grocery shopping. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, you can visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And if you're new, um, you uh, you can use the live chat uh, because I'm going to read some descriptions, some definitions of different words, and you have to guess them, obviously, in Spanish. And uh, we keep score. So last time, uh, Kay Beck won the crossword puzzle. She guessed a lot of words and I hope she can be here today and uh, we'll see who wins, right? Okay, so I'm going to choose the first one. I'm going to choose the first word and before that I would like or I want to say hola to Mobile Conan. How are you? ¿Cómo estás? Uh, are you ready? <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Hey, Quebec. Hi, I'm glad you're here. Estoy bien. ¿Cómo estás tú? <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. So Let's see which word we're gonna do first. I think we should do, hmm, six across. Six across right here. Hola, Marcos. <laughs> How are you, Marcos? Welcome. Okay, so the first, the first word is six across. And let's see what this word is about. By the way, most of the words are going to be nouns, okay? Uh, so just FYI. <laughs> okay, so this is a noun, obviously, and the definition is an opening such as a door, passage, or gate that allows access to a place. How do you call this in Spanish? Uh, an opening, such as a door, passage, or gate that allows uh, access to a place. So do we know what word we're talking about? Yes, Marcos. Yeah, always green. Hello, welcome. Yes, sometimes you can call uh, entrada puerta. We're talking about an entrance. Uh, usually when you go to a super store, super store, supermarket, uh, you go through or you get in through a an entrance. So Marcos is right. And we're talking about entrada, entrada. Now, Let's reveal the word entrada. Perfect. Yeah, that means entrance. Entrada, entrance. Okay, so let me give you a point, Marcos, before we move on. Uh, okay, so Marcos. Marcos, oops, gets the first point. Excellent. Okay, so Marcus is saying two down, two down. I can see it right here. And let's read the definition. 
a container used to hold or carry things, typically made from interwoven strips of wire. So it's a container that you can hold, right? And you can put things in, all the groceries in, and typically it's made out of uh, strips of wire. Yeah, sometimes it's made out of plastic. Sometimes it's made out of um, metal. Yes, Quebec. That's correct. We're talking about canasta. Um, mobile cannon. That's correct. You could also call it cesta. But uh, for this situation, we're talking about canasta. Canasta. Okay, so let's just reveal the word canasta. Canasta. That means basket. Okay, when you do groceries, you need a basket. Uh, and basket means canasta. Canasta. Okay, let's give a point to K. Yes, K. Mm -hmm. K. <laughs> Just double check it. K gets a point. Perfect. Now, K is saying one down. One down. Okay, this one is going to be an interesting one because it's very long. But this word is uh it has three different words so it's more like a, it's not a phrase it's a noun but this noun has three different words okay so it's not one word is it's three three words okay one down it's a noun it has three words and the definition is a drink made from or flavored with oranges. Usually it's a drink made out of oranges. You know, it's some something that you can find at supermarkets, something that it's very commonly purchased. <laughs> so do we know what we're talking about? Remember, this noun has three words. It's a drink made from or flavored with oranges. Yes, that's correct. Marcos has the answer. We're talking about jugo de naranja. Jugo de naranja. And that means OJ. <laughs> orange juice <laughs> okay so Marcus gets a point perfect uh, yeah so jugo de naranja so that one is a tricky one it looks like a very uh, it looks like a very long word but it's actually three words okay so Marcus is saying 10 across 10 across and we have it right here this one has five letters okay five letters and the definition is a voucher entitling the holder to a discount for a particular product it's a voucher entitling the holder to a discount for a particular product. How do you call this in Spanish? <laughs> By the way, this word has an accent mark, okay? Marcos, you you were almost there, but yeah, Quebec, Quebec has the right answer. We're talking about coupon, coupon, and that means coupon, right? <laughs> Okay, so let's reveal the word. Coupon, coupon. So the spelling is almost similar as the English word coupon, but 
uh, it's not or coupon, coupon, right? Coupon, coupon, not coupon. Yeah, so it's coupon. I think that's the right uh, pronunciation. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, in Spanish. It's called coupon, coupon. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, K. K is saying three across. Three across. That's the one right here. And this one has six letters. And this word is plural, guys. Okay? Plural. Plural. And it's also a noun. The definition is the sweet and fleshy product of a tree or other plant that contains seed and can be eaten as food. The sweet and fleshy product of a tree or other plant that contains seeds or seed and can be eaten as food. How do you call this in Spanish? This is another thing that you can find at supermarkets. <laughs> yes, that's correct. K, K was the first one to answer. And that's correct. We're talking about frutas, frutas. Okay, so here we have it. Frutas, frutas. And that means fruits. Uh, as I said before, this word is plural. Fruta means fruit. Frutas, fruits. Perfect. So, uh, K gets the point. Yeah, K. Two points total. Marcus has two points. K has two points. So, it's getting competitive. Okay, so... K is saying five across, five across. Okay, let's see where it is. Okay, I see it right here. And this is a short word. It has only four letters. And again, this is a noun. And the definition is the liquid obtained from or present in fruit or vegetables. So that word is already on the crossword. So <laughs> let's read the definition again. The, the liquid obtained from, from or present in fruit or vegetables. Yes, Marcos. Marcos has the answer. We're talking about jugo, jugo, okay? Jugo means juice. Jugo, juice. Also, in Spain specifically, this is called sumo, just like Mobile uh, Conan is saying. Uh, but in this situation, Mobile, we're talking about jugo. But yeah, sumo is another word uh, to refer to juice in Spanish. Usually, that's from Spain. Uh, let's give a point to Marcus. Marcus. Three points for Marcus. That's the total. Okay, so Marcus is saying nine across. Nine across. That one is right here. Right here. And, okay, so this word has six, six letters. Nine across. Uh, yeah, K. K Beck is saying, Marcos, es, está muy rápido. <laughs> yeah, Marcos is answering very quickly. I just predicted that one. I got lucky. Well, I think you know Spanish, Marcos, and, and we can tell, and that's awesome. Okay, so nine across. Again, a noun, and the definition is a greeting or written statement acknowledging that something has been paid for or that goods have been received. A written or printed statement acknowledging that something has been paid for or that goods have been received. Usually, well, in this situation, 
Uh, we're talking about a pay piece of paper that tells that something has been paid. <laughs> okay, so I see some answers already. Um, Marcos is saying, recibo. Uh, let's, let's double check. Yes, that's the correct answer. We're talking about recibo. 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 And that means receipt. Okay? So, Marcos gets the point. Oh, boy. Marcos has two, four points. K, okay, two points. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, receta is more like, yeah, recipe. Uh, but we're talking about money. We're talking when you pay something, you get a receipt. And in Spanish, that is called recibo, recibo. Okay. Now, Marcos is saying 13 across, 13 across. Hello, Farhan Ali. Hola, mi, prof mi gran profesora, ¿cómo estás? Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Estoy bien, ¿cómo estás tú? Bienvenido. <laughs> okay, so uh, 13 across. <laughs> uh, 13 across is another long word. Uh, I think this is also a multiple word that we're talking about. So we're talking about th another three words, okay? So this word has three words. <laughs> it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a noun as well. And the definition is paper in sheets or on a roll for wiping oneself. You can find this commonly in bathrooms. So, <laughs> paper in sheets or on a roll for wiping oneself. <laughs> How do you call this in Spanish? <laughs> Yes, Quebec. Quebec, you're right. We're talking about papel de baño and your grammar is perfect. Papel de baño uh, means toilet paper, okay? To toilet paper. So let's reveal the word and we have it right here. Papel de baño. Papel de baño. That means toilet paper. And the point is 4K. Okay, three points for K. Marcus 4, K3. Okay. <laughs> okay, K. Uh, 14 across. And I can see that Farhan um, is answering in Spanish. That's amazing. Bien, estoy muy bien, muy feliz por participar uh, to live stream. Perfect, that's amazing. That's, that's really good. Your Spanish is really good. Okay, so K is saying 14 across and that one is somewhere here. That's another long word. <laughs> so we can see that it has three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, if I'm correct, 11 letters. And this word is actually one word, okay? So it's a very long word and it's also plural. The definition is a substance such as salt or ketchup that is used to add flavor to food. A substance such as salt or ketchup that is used to add flavor to food. How do you call this in Spanish? And remember, it's plural. It's a plural word. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. K 
has the answer. We are talking about condimentos. Condimentos. Okay? So that's the word. Condimentos. And that means condiments. So the English word and the Spanish word both are very, very similar. Uh, they they almost have the same spelling. Okay, let's give the point to K. Wow, okay. Marcus 4, K4. <laughs> okay, uh, now K is saying 12 down. 12 down, wow. Okay, this one is right here. We're doing this crossword pretty fast. <laughs> Okay, uh, this one has five letters. It's another noun. And the definition is a white beverage eaten along with cereal, an ingredient when making smoothies. It can come from cows, but also it can be made out of almonds, soy, oatmeal, and coconut. <laughs> Do we know the answer? Hello, Turius Israel. Uh, hola, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Okay, so, Marcos, you almost got it right. But once again, K. K has the right spelling and the right answer. We're talking about leche. Leche. And that means milk. Okay. My favorite milk is soy milk and almond milk. I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay. Mm, we're going to give the point to K. K. Yes. <laughs> you type too fast, Marcos. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> excellent. Yes, that's correct. We're talking about leche and leche means milk. Now, K is saying eight down, eight down. We only have like five more words to go. So <laughs> this was very fast. It's going very fast. Um, eight down. Where is it? Oh, okay, I can see it. It's right here. This one has seven letters. Yeah. Okay. The definition of this noun is a passage between shelves or goods in a supermarket. A passage between uh, shelves of goods in a supermarket. How do you call this in Spanish? <laughs> That's correct, Marcus. We're just having fun. I agree. PJ, welcome. PJ saying, me encanta la leche de almond. <laughs> I love almond milk too. By the way, almond in Spanish is almendra. Almendra. <laughs> Perfect. Um, K. K back. <laughs> yes, we are talking about pasillo. Pasillo. And that's the word. Pasillo. And that means aisle. When you find things, you know, and you, you're asking... The person working at supermar at the supermarket, where can I find this? And they're gonna tell you pasillo uno or pasillo dos, and that means aisle. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's give the point to K. Perfect. Wow. K six points. Marcus four points. Let's see. K is saying seven down. Seven down. 
And that one is right here. That word has eight letters, eight letters. So it's a longish word. And the definition, the definition is, it's going to be plural and it's also a noun. And it's a plant or part of a plant used as food, such as cabbage, potatoes, and carrots. So it's a plant or part of a plant used as food, such as cabbage, potatoes, and carrots. I mean, there are so many, many more of this, uh, but yeah. It could be cabbage, potatoes, carrots, uh, eggplant. <laughs> In general, how do you call that? Yes, uh, mob mobile. You, you're almost. That's actually in English <laughs> the the word we're looking for, uh, but we need to spell it in Spanish. And it's plural, plural people, plural. <laughs> but, oh man, I see Far, Farhan has the right answer, but it has to be plural. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna give the point to Farhan. Yeah, Farhan, I, I mean, he's, pretty close, pretty close. So what do you think, guys? Should should I give the point to Farhan? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, let's give the point to Farhan and also to the next people who has the right answer, okay? So it will be a point for Farhan. Farhan, one point. And also, okay, <laughs> she was the next one that technically has the right answer. Uh, so I'm going to give the point to Kay as well, just to be fair. Okay. Oh, I was going to give the point to Marcus, sorry. Uh, K gets a point and Farhan gets a point. Perfect. <laughs> so we have Marcos four, K seven, Farhan one. Good job. Okay. So either Farhan or K, please tell me the next number. We have 11 down or 11 across and four down. So which one, guys? <laughs> okay. Please tell me, guys, which one do you want? either K or Farhan. <laughs> okay, let's... Okay, PJ, I think he's choosing. And um, yeah, we, we can do four down. Let's do four down. Why not? Right? <laughs> four down. <laughs> that one is right here. And um, this word has five five letters okay and let's see <laughs> we're doing four down guys <laughs> okay uh this is a noun and the definition is a container made of flexible material with an opening at the top used for carrying things. 
it's a container <laughs> a container made of made of flexible material with an opening at the top used for carrying things and uh, some of them are made out of plastic sometimes some of them are made out of uh, other materials uh, you can uh, reuse them I think you should reuse this specific noun for sure and avoid the plastic ones okay yeah <laughs> k is really fast yes we're talking about oh hang on hang on i made a mistake guys i made a mistake because we were talking, I forgot to re reveal the word that Kay and Farhan guessed. <laughs> you didn't tell me, guys. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, Kay is right for the current word we're talking about. But let me reveal the <laughs> this word right here. Verduras, verduras. And <laughs> that means vegetables, okay? Verduras, vegetables. And that's the previous word we were talking about where Farhan and, or that Farhan and Kay guessed correctly. And the one that we're talking about next is bolsa, bolsa. And that means bag, you know? Could be any bag, plastic bag, tote bag, any any bag paper bag uh, usually if you don't know how to say paper bag or plastic bag in spanish you can just refer to it as bolsa bolsa okay and uh k gets a point okay <laughs> okay marcus don't give up <laughs> i can i can see that uh you feel that you're too slow right now uh you're pretty fast and he's he's saying how about me and k don't answer the last two since she's guaranteed to win or the win uh to give the others a chance to guess okay <laughs> um yeah, I mean, it's up to you guys. It's up to you if if you want to do that, uh, if you want to guess it. It's up to you. I leave it up to you. Okay, so, um, Turius, thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, and I hope you have a good weekend. Okay, so, let's do the next two. I guess I can choose... I can choose the the next two, which I mean, it's 11, 11 across or 11 down. <laughs> okay, be nice, guys. Be nice. I mean, K, K is doing so well. Uh, she knows Spanish and that's amazing. And Marcos as well. You both are champions. You're really, really good at, uh, you know, speaking Spanish or answering everything in Spanish that's amazing so okay I'm gonna read the two definitions left and let's see so let's do 11 down okay 11 down 11 down so pay attention guys this is another noun and the definition is the amount of money expected, required, or given in payment for something, anything, usually placed on products at supermarkets. So you can see that on products and usually people from the store always put that on products. So people know the price of this I already said <laughs> said it in English but yeah we're talking about precio precio mobile mobile you get the point 
That's correct. We are talking about precio. Precio. Okay, so let's reveal the word precio. And that means price. <laughs> okay, so let's give the point to mobile. Mobile gets the point. Perfect. Now let's do the last one. This one is so easy. If you know the answer already, because you can see the first letter, please, you can, you can try to guess it. Do so. I, I don't mind. <laughs> okay. So the last word. This is another noun. We, we talked about nouns today, just all nouns. Uh, and the definition is food made of flour, or it, this is made out of flour, water, and yeast, or another living agent <laughs> mixed together and baked. So how do you call this? Uh, this kind of food that is made out of flour, water, and yeast. It usually takes a long time to make. Yeah, a long time, but it's worth it. <laughs> okay, yes, PJ. PJ, you have the answer. We are talking about pan. Pan. And it's right here. Pan. Pan. <laughs> that means bread. And mobile, mobile gets the point. No, PJ, PJ gets the point. PJ, good job. So we guessed everything, or you guys guessed everything rather. And as we can see, we have a winner. And the winner is K Beck. K Beck. Congratulations, K Beck. You won this crossword puzzle. You guessed a lot of a lot of uh, words in Spanish. Actually, yeah, you guessed eight words out of the 15 words uh, that we were talking about. And uh, second place is Marcos with four points. And then Farhan Mobile and PJ. Thank you so much for participating. You guys are amazing. And thank you to all the people who watched this crossword puzzle. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned some Spanish. And Quebec, once again, congratulations. You are very good at Spanish and speaking and just answering in Spanish. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations. And I, I mean, how many crossword puzzles have you have you won, Kay? Tell us. I think it's like um, Anthony Grant and Kay Beck, both both of uh, of them. They have won like a lot of crossword puzzles and Marcos Barrera as well. Uh, you guys are very good, very, very good. Uh, so now I'm gonna read some some of your comments. Uh, PJ saying, gracias maestra. Thank you, PJ. Gracias a ti por estar aquí, por participar. <laughs> Marcus is saying, thank you, Sugar Astronaut. These are always super fun. A ver si a la otra me pongo las pilas. Yes, well, you did an excellent job, my friend. Believe me, you are really good. Uh, Mobile is sending an emoji. Thank you, Mobile, for being here, for participating. Uh, Farhan, do you do this live stream every day? I don't do this every day, but I do this. Uh, the crossword puzzles are usually every week, either on Wednesday or Thursday, and sometimes on the weekend, like either Saturday or Sunday, mostly Saturday. 
Um, and also I live stream most of my lessons because it's just so nice to talk to you guys, to interact with you. You can ask me questions about different things, but yeah, I usually have lessons from Wednesday to Friday. Wednesday is a lesson. Uh, Thursday is uh, a crossword puzzle. Friday is a lesson. And then sometimes another crossword puzzle on Saturday. So yeah, I'm trying to do that. <laughs> and thank you so much for being here, guys. You are awesome. Okay, so have a great weekend. Thank you for being here. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. That helps this channel a lot. And uh, yes, subscribe and click on the bell icon so that way you can see notifications about my live streams and you can just um, participate and talk to me and ask me questions about Spanish. And yeah, just hit that uh, bell button because that's going to notify you every time I open a new video. Also, you can visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And thank you, Kay Beck, for, <laughs> for your kind comments. I'm glad you like my videos. And you, my friend, you know Spanish. <laughs> okay. Um, excellent. Okay. So if you want to see more, uh, read more about Spanish, you can go to smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. You can download this crossword puzzle for free on smlessons.com slash games. All the links are down below. If you would like to donate to this channel, also the link is down below. Thank you so much for being here. You are amazing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.